with me played in champagne the night before i can't remember but we're driving to the outhouse and i say that um i'm interested to meet this person ted there's some rather disturbing rumors we've been receiving about him uh the first was that he had made a flyer that depicted me raping a pig um, and they had a lot of really uh, derogatory sort of statements about Meyer threat or whatever. Um, the other thing was that he was, he ripped bands off. Lawrence's own suburban death camp, The Outhouse. Don't miss this show. It may be your last. Driving that long road out to the outhouse to, to get to where we were playing, we, we were going way out and there's all these, this farmland and these cornfields and we thought, we really did think that we had been like fucked, you know, somebody was playing a joke on us or something. Did I, am I lost? Am I, is there, you know, am I, we've been kind of driving for a while. We were going down this desolate road going, what's going on here? So when we got there and then some kids were waving us over like, this is the place, this is the place, and we're like, Okay. For it being very like clandestine, like I was like, "Fuck!" Like we're going down this little fucking corn dirt road. This I was like, "This is gonna be good shit." You know, you pull up. They're collecting money at the gate, and there's a bonfire. It was a cinder block shack in the middle of a cornfield, and it was nowhere near anything. I never seen anything like that. I never seen anything like that. I didn't know anything like that. I never heard about anything like that. You know, we're from New York City, you know, like in the middle of nowhere. There's this little house all the way out there. It's like, what the fuck? There was no cell phones. Pre-cell phone. So there was like no cell phones. This is like pre-cell phones. So once you got there, you're pretty much there. And it was just you and whoever came to the gig. So you're kind of just out on your own if you're a kid. There was no immediate documentation or you know, you were responsible for yourself. You weren't going to call someone. You know, I'm in trouble. You know, you had to, like, have friends. I mean, we were grown men when we went up there. And we were a gang. DOA always operated as a gang. What do you want? You want glamour or do you want uh, a visceral fucking cinder block building out in the middle of a cornfield? And if there's trouble, we stuck together. We had a van. And if we really needed it, we had uh, baseball bats and hockey sticks in the van. I think once you realized, you know, because you heard the stories and you maybe were a little nervous the first time going down, but once you got down there, you realized there wasn't really anything to be scared about. You know, it was a real good vibe, you know, for the most part. Uh, bands didn't have a green room or a dressing room or some place they could go hide in. You could just walk up to the people at the outhouse. They weren't stars. And uh, I always just thought that was so cool because you'd go to like big concerts and you know the band's really far away from you. And with this, the band was just right there in your face. The way it sort of forced those bands to get out and be amongst the people. Wow, I can't believe you hung out with blah 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 so and so, the legend of punk rock. And uh, at the outhouse, it was like, Eh, who cares who you are? I mean, uh, we're so much cooler because we come here all the time. You're just some out-of-town guy. <laughs> Punk rock used to draw a much more uh, messed up type of person. Like, if you were into punk rock, there was something wrong with you, for the most part. Everybody was an outcast in mixed society, whether you had long hair, no hair, or a maw. People didn't relate to you. They didn't understand you. I don't know, a large percentage of the people that were there um, were damaged. And I took this big can of white, white fucking paint and I painted, I like cheese all around the fucking outhouse in big white letters. And then the drummer came in. He had a chicken. But just the fact that you pull up and there's this guy blowing off a shotgun uh, that was already... It's already pretty interesting.
You know, I don't think that I've ever personally met the neighbors. I don't. Um, <clears throat> I, I I heard what they were saying, but uh, they. I never had a uh, conversation face to face with any of the neighbors. Other people did. <laughs> and then next thing you know, people just started showing up in cars like it was like it was dazed and confused or something like, just uh, just complete chaos the way everyone showed up. It was almost like they like they just blew a whistle and everyone just started racing down to it. You know, it was just the whole place is smiling, everybody's, you know, dancing, just having a blast. All hell breaks loose. It was the chosen few then. Yeah. Anybody out there ever heard of Troubled You don't get like the mental defects, or they're, they're outnumbered. Maybe maybe they're still there, but they're outnumbered. I mean, like everyone you knew basically had something majorly wrong with them. Like that's why you were all friends. You know, the bands come out. You're right there with them. It's loud. It's fast. Fucking people are going eight shit crazy. You know, you get knocked down. You know, there's a, a certain element of fear and excitement. And, and you're like, oh, you have this what the fuck, you know, experience. And you just hit the concrete floor and there's boots and shit and fucking all of it. And out of nowhere comes a hand and you grab on of it and they jerk you off the floor. And it's like, you are alive. important thing about going to our house is like take a shit before you go out there because you're gonna be stuck in a cornfield some people would never play there again and some people I couldn't understand why they wanted to come back you know we were doing bigger shows at that point in other venues so when white zombie wanted to come back and play the outhouse we were like what's white zombie what does white zombie want to come back for don't they realize what's gonna happen and of course, we were, you know, Dave and I were like, onward, you know, uh, sure, you want to play the outhouse? Okay. Um, you know, so when 900 people show up and the building holds 200, of course we let them all in. <laughs>